Howdy, welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. Last episode we had to do the unfortunate deed of killing Jodie's mum, which was a bit sad, and the CIA grabbed us on the way out of the, uh, the mental home, and Nathan toying with our emotions, because he seems to have uh, revealed his true colours, which are not good. But we have to do a job for the CIA, so let's go and do it. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Where are you? So, I guess we got captured. And I guess this is going to show us what happened. <laughs> Yeah? Okay. It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? What's this one? There's a house over there! Got it! Let's go! That was a bit frustrating. Here we go. Village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up. You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Get a connection? Wet. No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. Damn. I'm still angry with me, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. Uh, okay. Can't talk to them. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh.
Um, I don't think you really want to be playing with that, Jody. To be fair. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus forty. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Phrase caught your pants down springs to mind. Oh no, they drove past. Huh. Fair enough. Who were they? They're here. I saw them. Where? On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! say really it's just kind of a bit of a ski trip I don't know who they were bingo I didn't go see what's inside okay so who are these people that drove past Submarine. That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. Right. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Iden to take them out. Iden? Get rid of them. There's one. I haven't got a weapon. Have I? Was it? Aha. Uh -huh. 
Okay, so we're going to have to go underwater. Have to find the rift or the condenser. But I don't think it's going to end well because of what happened at the start of the uh, start of the episode. now just give me a second okay mm-hmm actually should we go in here can we yeah must be something in here that we can use or do or Turns out there isn't. No. Okay. It feels like we missed something. This way. Oh. a sub like this on the CIA simulator. And maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. That fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two -seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Infiltration. Give me nice. The explosives. Fair enough. <laughs> Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. I'm still confused about the whole Nathan made a condenser. But back in the game, a good few episodes ago, we had to destroy one because they're a bad thing and visibility is bad. It's hard to get my bearings. Jody said to Nathan, make sure they never build one ever again, but he has, so he... He's being bad? Is he being a dick? I'm just a bit confused about what... what he's doing and what... what's gonna happen. missing something or maybe we just haven't found out yet oh 
Oh, I see something on the map. There. You see the lights? Oh, shit. Uh, I hope that wasn't a question. We will find out. <laughs> uh. This isn't, yeah, well, we know it's not going to end well. I am impressed. <laughs> Few men would have held that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades. But... My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. You say nothing, you hear me? You know! I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? Okay, okay. My name is Holmes. Jody, no. Jody Holmes. Agent 894732. I work with the CIA. So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. You would appear so. entity that was trapped in our containment field. He's tied to me. I was born with him. Fascinating. The Americans have also discovered the existence of this phenomenon. I must inform my superiors. I will return soon to continue our conversation. Just give me enough time to whip out Aiden, kill that guard, and escape. That's all I need. Sorry, Ray. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Watch out! It's a Jogger Shiam, sir! Heck. It worked. And now find the condenser before they realize something's up. Big red door, I guess. <laughs> Danger.
The door over there. That must be the way. Hope so. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. <gasps> Jody! Jody, what's happening? They've separated Aiden from Jody. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. So what's that going to achieve? Okay, so we've killed the guy with the gun. Is there going to be another one that we can possess? To go and pick up a gun. Yes. Where are you, Aiden? I'm trying. Aha. Missed it. There we go. Where to go? Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
<coughs> Makes sense. Okay, come on, item. We can go. Item. Item, you're back. Hurry. Hurry. I'm trying. Find me. Bad entities are coming out. First bit. Um. I need to find Ryan. Can't fucking see anything. Ryan? Ryan, are you there? Wait for me. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, just go without me. You're crazy? But Jody, we've done it. The base is destroyed. Let's get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. No, look, it's too late, Jody. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Okay, I have had to resort to Google because I was just failing epically. Didn't know what I had to do. Wandering about for half an hour. Lovely. Here we go. camera angles. This really gets on my tits. Shit, I'm really scared, I didn't... It's alright, don't worry about it. Stay close, okay?
It's pitch black. There's gotta be a light on this thing. Keep calm, Aiden. That is a bit creepy. Underwater demon entity type things. I'll shit you up, won't it? Got out really frustrated, literally about half an hour wandering around that compound, not knowing what to do. Oh, it stressed me out. It's just a stupid little thing as well. You miss that little dot, that little white circle, you're screwed. Really, really annoyed. But hopefully, <coughs> we can end this chapter with a bang. <laughs> Get it over and done with, move on to the next one. Is this where I have to go? That's it, isn't it? That's like the, the gateway or the rift or whatever they call it. It's blowy tap. Oh, okay. Let's just blow up each one. That's giving me a hint. The ladder. Hurry up! You're going to the hill with me. Wow. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch! What the hell? Yes, use your <laughs> screwdriver hand. Make you pay for what you've done.
Uh oh. That's not gonna end well. Me go! Come on, get up, get up, go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please tell me it's going to show up. Come on. Yes. Result. Is it Ryan? Yeah. You didn't think I'd let you down, huh? And there it goes. Kaboom. Sounds like a fucking good plan. Oh, seem to work. <laughs> what an adventure, eh? They've been through a lot. <laughs> but you're still a dick, boy. Uh, 
I'm sorry to behave like an absolute idiot. Yeah. Now, I never had time to tell you this, but um, I love you, Jody. I wanted you to know, just in case we die here. Right. So how about you? Huh? Do you love me too? Fuck off. I thought... For a moment, but... No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. It's because you're a douchebag, Ryan. Never seen anyone so pig headed. Okay. Is that the end of the chapter? It needs to be in like a minute. Oh, God. Yes, okay, my SD card is about to run out of time, so I'm gonna end this quickly. Thanks for watching, hope you did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Really appreciate you stopping by, and I shall catch you in the next episode. So until then, ciao for now.